Journal bearings typically consist of a metal sleeve that fits around a shaft. The sleeve is held in place within a housing. The journal is simply the place on the shaft that is surrounded and supported by the bearing. Journal bearings can be made out of metallic or non-metallic materials. Examples of common metallic bearing materials include bronze or brass. This example of a non-metallic bearing material is called phenolic. This fibrous synthetic material is used in power generating applications because it does not conduct electricity. Another common bearing material is called babbit. Babbit is a soft alloy comprised of tin, copper, and antimony. Babbit is usually bonded to a shell of harder metal to give the bearing strength. Bearings are generally made out of material that is softer than the metal of the shaft. This helps to protect the shaft by allowing the bearing material to wear out first. Journal bearings usually have a lubricant groove on the inside surface of the bearing. This groove generally runs parallel to the shaft and helps distribute oil or grease along the shaft, where the shaft passes through the bearing. There are two basic types of journal bearings solid journal bearings and split journal bearings. Solid journal bearings consist of a solid one-piece sleeve mounted in a one-piece housing. A solid journal bearing is sometimes called a bushing or a sleeve bearing depending on its thickness. A bushing is a relatively thin solid journal bearing that gets most of its strength from the housing in which it is mounted. The term sleeve bearing generally refers to a thick-walled journal bearing. A split journal bearing consists of a two-piece bearing mounted in a two-piece housing. The advantage of a split journal bearing over a solid journal bearing is that it can be separated into two halves. A split journal bearing is easier to service since it can usually be separated and removed from around the shaft without removing the shaft itself. Solid journal bearings can be more difficult to replace than other types of journal bearings. Frequently, they must be slipped on and off the end of the shaft, or the shaft must be removed through the bearing. 